Hi, 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 hi again, and you're welcome back to my channel. My name is Wendy Ologe, the Intentional Parent. I am the founder of the Intentional Parent Academy. I'm a parent coach as well, and I'm also the author of three best-selling parenting books. And we also have other digital products, like how to help you create family media plans, how to help you um, put family values together, and all that. But we have three books. They are also available on Amazon, Connect to Correct, the, intention, the Discipline That Works, and From Yelling to Come. Have you read any of them? You want to actually get a copy. They are bestsellers, sold over 10,000 copies in all, and you want to read them. People call it the game changer, the parenting game changer. Don't miss it, get a copy. You can get a copy on our website, link right here in description, www.wendyologe.com. If you're just joining me for the first time, this is a parenting channel. Yes, 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 yes. What we do here is parenting. <laughs> That's all. Tips, hacks, whatever it is that you want to call it. That's what this is about, right? So we share videos every Monday, every Wednesday, and every Friday. But in the past few days, the whole of the month of August, we're sharing a challenge called How Well Do You Know Your Child? So we're showing up every day sharing this value with you. How well do you know your child? Today is day 15 and our interest today is what is a child's best spot? Sports, yes, yeah, sporting activity. What is your child's best spot? Running, football, yes, yeah, now that I'm thinking of it. You know, children can actually have more than one, you know, spot that they like, but there's one that they really love. And it has nothing to do with you. For instance, our son's best spot is football. Meanwhile, our son, none of us likes football that much. Well, my husband doesn't watch Premier League, I don't, but he loves it. He watches it. That's his favorite, favorite spot. So you want to find out what your child's favorite sport is. Some children are more inclined to team sports, while others prefer individual sport, long tennis, table tennis, and all what have you. You know, some you know people, some body types are also better suited for some kind of sport more than the others. And I think, come to think of it, that our son also loves swimming. It's a kind of sport that, in fact, tell him, you go swimming now, he jumps up and he, you know, takes off on it. And some children will be more interested in low-impact sports, like, you know, the sport that will be, you know, anxious, you know, for them, that is not physically demanding, while some are... You know, they like the physically demanding. You know, swimming is very physically demanding. Our son is a kinesthetic learner, so of course he loves anything that will make him move his body. So you want to find out what kind of sport your child loves and why. Loving a sport will actually teach your child vital life skills. Yes, you might want to actually let your child do lots of sports. Life skills like discipline can be learned at the sport ground. Yes motivation mm -hmm, mm -hmm. commitment oh yes and cooperation these are some of the things that you can learn while your child you know is in a sporting place discipline discipline is one key thing sport teaches you discipline you can't just miss it you don't even have a choice because you just have to get disciplined about it so our children play sport in school. They play different kind of sport. They have a very quite a large, you know, sporting environment, sporting equipment, basketball, badminton, you know, name it. Lawn tennis, table tennis. So it gives them that ability to actually do lots of both individual um, sporting and team sporting. And then even at home as well, we also have the individual sporting and the team sporting. We play lots of games, indoor games, chairs, scrabble. We also play football outside as well. So it depends, long tennis as well. So it depends on exactly what it is in your home that you know you can help your child begin to force. But you need to help your child understand and get into sport. These days I see a lot of children, the only sport that they do is video game. It's actually a huge challenge because that will deter the 21st century child. The Gen Z is going to have a problem with social skills. We shared a video on, you know, understanding the Gen Z child. The Gen Z is going to have a problem with social skills. And the truth of the matter remains that these social skills are 
you know, things that will help your child become, be able to navigate their world. So if your child cannot navigate their world, it goes to show that your child might not be able to survive in the 21st century. So putting your child in front of the screen and just letting them play game, just letting them just do anything on, on the screen, it's, it's actually a disadvantage. So you might want to rethink your process, your parenting process on, you know, letting your children, you know, do some kind of sport. All right? So... It is important. Like I shared earlier, our son loves swimming, and not only does it bring him joy, it keeps him really fit, really, because he's really on the big side, so you want to keep him very active. So we don't do a lot of screen, we do a lot of you know, activities. So um, before the lockdown, we do swimming almost every Sundays. We're out you know, swimming um, every Sunday just keeps the body out, you know, they learn to interact with people out there. So they're not just inside in the virtual world. The virtual world is good, but trust me, your child will need to learn the skills, you know, that will put them through in life outside of the virtual and the screen world. What exactly are you doing? What is your child's best spot? If your child does not have any kind of spot, then the onus is on you today to begin to create a system that helps your children begin to do sporting activities. Thank you for joining me here again. And um, we are on the day 15 and we're running, running, running. We have 30 days. We have just 15 more days to go. We're halfway through it. Do you have a daughter that you've been writing about these things? If you don't get one today, write your journey about this have conversations around it begin to review some of the things that you have done and begin to create a plan that will help you on this journey thank you again for joining me thank you again for being here with me don't forget to follow us on all our social media platform when you log in or the intentional parent remember our parenting channel has everything that you will think of to have to give out as regards your parenting how you can change your journey thank you again for being here and do have an amazing day see you in our next video